Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to install Sonar Cube on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So first of all, we need to understand the prerequisites to install Sonar Cube on Ubuntu. So first of all, we need a Ubuntu 24.04 LTS with minimum 2 GB RAM and 1 CPU. Then we need a PostgreSQL version 9.3 or a higher version. Then we need a SSH access with pseudo privileges and we need a port on 9000 because the default port number of Sonar Cube is 9000. So that's why we need this port number. Okay. So as you can see here, I have successfully launched my instance and I have successfully connected to my instance. Okay. So as you can see here, this is my instance so i have successfully connected you can see welcome to ubuntu 24.04 lts okay so now let's start to install sonar cube on ubuntu 24.04 lts so first of all before installing let's update and upgrade the system package so now i'm going to update my system package so as you know the command sudo apt-get update to update my update my system package So it's done. Okay. Then now after that we need to install wget and unzip packages. Okay. So let's install this two unzip and wget. So as you can see it's done. Okay. Now after that we need to install open JDK 17. So here I'm going to install the OpenJDK 17. Okay, so let's install using following command. So we need a Java to install Sonar Cube. So here I'm going to install OpenJDK 17 on my Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So now as you can see, it's installing. So it takes few seconds to install. As you can see, it's almost done. Yeah, it's done. So as you can see, we have successfully installed OpenJDK 17. So now let's clear the screen. If you want to check the details of your Java, then you can check the details. You can see OpenJDK version 17.0.11. Okay. We have successfully installed. Okay. Now, after that, here you can see we need to set default JDK. So how to set? So to set default JDK or switch to open JDK, so we need to enter this command. And using this command, we can select default. So now it's auto mode. So we need to set the manual mode. So that's why I am going to enter one. Okay, it's done. Now if I run this, as you can see now is it? manual or you can see the star mark okay now i'm going to enter and let's clear the screen okay now now let's check the deal next so we have successfully checked the java version now after that the second step is we need to install and set up postgresql 10 database for sonar cube okay so now how to install so first of all we need to add and download the postgresql repo so using following command, we need to add and download the PostgreSQL. Then after that, we need to install uh, uh, run this command using wget command. Okay. And then after that, let's install the PostgreSQL database server by using following commands. So let's install PostgreSQL. So as you can see, it's almost done. Okay, it's done. Then after that, we need to start PostgreSQL data server, database server. Okay, so let's start. 
Okay. Then after that, we need to enable this PostgreSQL. Then, okay. So we have successfully started our PostgreSQL. We have successfully enabled. If you want to check the details and if you want to check the status of PostgreSQL, then you can check the status. As you can see, it's active running. Okay. Now let's clear the screen. So we have successfully installed PostgreSQL. Okay. Now, we, need, we are going to change the password for default PostgreSQL. So let's set the password for PostgreSQL. So the command is sudo, sudo password Postgres. So let's enter a new password for PostgreSQL and retype for confirmation. Okay, so password update successful. Then now after that, let's switch to PostgreSQL. So how to switch? So the command is sudo hyphen Postgres. Sorry, Postgres. So now we have is asking for password so enter a password and now we have successfully switched to postgres you can see postgres okay now after switching postgres let's create a user okay so how to create so we are going to create user for typing this create user and your username so my username will be sonar so i'm going to create a user okay then after that, let's switch to PostgreSQL shell. So how to switch? The command is PSQL. That means P PostgreSQL. Okay, as you can see, we have successfully switched to this PostgreSQL shell. You can see the Ubuntu and type for help if you want to help. Then after that, we are going to set a password for newly created user for SonarCube database. Okay, so I'm going to set so how to set the command is alter user sonar. This is my sonar username sonar with encrypted password sonar. So if you want to change the password, then you can change this password. But I'm going to uh, keep as it is sonar sonar. Okay. Now after that, next is we are going to create a new database for PostgreSQL database. Okay. So let's create a new database for PostgreSQL with the name sonar. So the command is like that. Okay, as you can see, alt role, alter role, and after that, create role. Sorry, create database. It's done. Then after that, we need to grant all privileges to Sonar user on Sonar Cube database. So that's why we need to run this command to grant all privileges to Sonar. So I'm going to run this. Okay, as you can see, grant. That means succeed. Then if you want to exit this shell, uh, piece, uh, PostgreSQL shell, then you can run the simply command like that. Then we have successfully exit, right? Now we are in PostgreSQL. Okay. Now after that, if you want to switch back to the sudo user by running exit command. Now if you want to exit, then you can enter the exit and we are successfully ex uh, log out of PostgreSQL. Now we are in Ubuntu user. Okay, it's done. Okay, so we are successfully logged into, we are successfully switched to PostgreSQL. Then after that, we are successfully switched to the PostgreSQL shell also. And then we are successfully log out to PostgreSQL. Okay, now it's time to move third step. Now the third step is how to install SonarCube on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So we are going to download SonarCube installer files and achieve to download latest version to visit the SonarCube download page. Okay, now here. Let's go to the SonarCube. Download. As you can see, this is the official site of SonarCube, right? So if I scroll down and as you can see, the latest version is SonarCube 9.9.6. Okay. Right click on download, copy link address. Okay. And now to download the SonarCube. So first of all, I'm going to this slash TMP folder. 
and now if I run the ls command as you can see there is a size and now let's download and install the sonar cube so i'm going to copy this uh, copy this link address and here i'm going to download sonar cube using wget command and as you can see we have successfully downloaded the sonar cube zip file as you can see here so now we need to extract this file so how to unzip so uh, here yeah, i'm going to use this command sudo unzip command and the folder name and i'm going to unzip this folder in this opt okay so as you can see it's done then now after that after unz successfully unzip so now we need to extract this file to this particular directory so i'm going to move this directory to this location slash opt sonar cube folder so i'm going to move this okay it's done now after that we need to configure sonar cube so how to configure so we can't run sonar cube as a root user so if you run using root user it stop automatically so here we have found solution on this to create separate group and user to run sonar cube so that's why here first of all we need to create a group and user so how to create so the command is sudo group add sonar so i'm going to create a group user i'm going to clear first screen first okay then after that now next is we need to add the user with directory address right so how to add so here i'm going to i'm going to run these two commands And the second one. Okay. It's done. Now after that we need to open sonar cube configuration file using your favorite editor. So I'm going to use this nano editor and let's open the configuration file of sonar cube. And here we need to some changes. So first of all, the first changes is here. We need to uncomment this sonar cube JDC JDBC username and sonar cube JDBC password. So here I'm going to enter a password and user. So my user is sonar and password also sonar. And here I'm going to enter the URL. So I'm going to enter this URL here. Okay. So the password and enter the username and password and sonar jdc jdbc.url and this is my url postgresql and so on okay now let's save the file and exit okay now it's done now after that as you can see next is we need to edit the sonar script file and set run as user okay so let's open this sonar cube file sorry sonar script and here we need to add this run as user sonar okay because my username is sonar so that's why here i'm going to enter the run as user sonar okay as you can see here i have successfully paste this line now let's save the file and exit okay it's done now the next step is we need to start sonar cube so now start sonar cube to so we need to following this switch to sonar user okay to start sonar cube so first of all we need to switch to sonar so the command is sudo su sonar so now i'm in sonar cube so now so first of all we need to move this script to this directory so first for that so first of all we need to inside this particular directory so I'm going to inside this directory. Okay. Then after that, run the script to start sonar cube. So now we are going to start our sonar cube. So how to start? So the command is sonar.sh start. So let's start using following command. As you can see, it started. Then after that, if you want to check the status of sonar cube then as you can see to check if sonar cube is running so we are going to enter the following command to check sonar cube status so the command is sonar sh status as you can see sonar cube is running right that means it's active running we have successfully started our sonar cube okay it's successfully started 
okay it's done now the next step is sonar cube logs okay so to check sonar cube logs navigate to opt the slash opt sonar cube logs sonar cube log directory okay if you want to check the logs of sonar cube then you can check this using following command okay now the next step is here is step configure system sonar service okay so we need to configure this file okay so for that first of all we need to inside this directory and in this directory if uh, first of all we need to stop sonar queue okay let's stop the sonar queue so as you can see successfully stopped okay after that we need to exit okay after that here after exit we are going to create a system d service file for sonar cube to run the system d startup so let's create the system d file so for that we are going to exit and here let's create the file and in this file we are going to add this below lines okay now let's save the file and exit then after that let's start the sonar cube using following command then let's enable sonar cube now let's check the status of sonar cube as you can see it's active running and it's 17 17 seconds i go right it's done that means we have successfully installed sonar cube okay we have successfully installed sonar cube now as you can see successfully we have covered how to install sonar cube on ubuntu 24.04 lts okay now it's time to access sonar cube on browser so how to access to access the sonar cube using browser type server ip and follow port number 9000 okay so let's check so here is my server instance i am going to copy the server ip then hit on browser and the port number is 9000 as you can see login so login to sonar cube so it asking our you login and password so default password uh, username and password for sonar cube is login admin and password also add after that we need to update our password for security so enter old password admin and enter new password and confirm password click on update as you can see we have successfully log into our sonar cube you can see sonar cube project issues rules then from azure bucket server github gitlab and so on okay so we have successfully logged into our sonar cube okay so it's done so successfully we have covered how to install sonar cube on ubuntu 24.04 lts so thank you for watching and i hope you understand